Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video guys is the update of my pregnancy journey. I'm halfway through my pregnancy now. I'm almost 21 weeks so I'm just gonna talk about what are the type of checkups that I did and diets and stuff like that and how do I feel right now. I'm just gonna talk about everything. It's just about pregnancy and stuff. So yeah, let's just get started. guys I'm here in our office uh, we have a bed in here if you see in my Valentine's Day video we have a bed in here after a really long day in front of the computer uh, you just want to just relax and you know sleep I like to stay in here just uh, taking a nap because I had so many pillows and it's so comfy like right now that I'm pregnant it's even more comfy to have more pillows guys to support your legs your back I already have four checkup the first checkup I was like five weeks pregnant that time and I was so shocked that my weight was like 49 and I was 45 guys like that's that is my weight sometimes 44 and then after I eat, I'm 45, something like that. And then I was so shocked that I gained a lot of weight. But the second checkup is I, I just gained like one kilo. And then the third checkup, just like 800 grams. And then the fourth checkup I had, I only gained like 600 grams. I think that's also you will notice earliest pregnancy symptoms is you will gain a lot of weights and then the following months is just normal my belly now for 21 weeks pretty big now and then in the front it's like this I still have the piercing because I also purchased something online that something like this that's good for the pregnancy I'm only 411 guys and my partner is he is 62 almost 63 he's so tall that's my belly now <laughs> i keep all the receipts and everything in here guys the very first checkup guys i already got ultrasound guys and they already show me uh this it was different this time guys because the ultrasound me straight away it's not the same the checkup i had when I had the miscarriage because uh, they still test my urine and my blood test if it's really came back positive but this time because they see all the two lines is very very visible guys that's why they just give me straight away to the ultrasound and then yeah because of this and then yeah I still keep this guys it's like uh, memorandum you know remembrance something like that check up that time guys is very cheap actually it's less than thousand baht i think it's about 800 the first checkup guys the medicine that the doctor gave me is only folic acid but i also take um multivitamins this one this one guys i also take this from the very very beginning of my pregnancy until now also guys the first checkup is my fiance it won't allow to come inside the room where i was i got ultrasound and then the second checkup he also didn't allow to go in inside the ultrasound but i have a picture so it was 11 weeks already this one the second checkup i had so it's already like a form of a baby in here and then here the heartbeat also guys the check and check up is uh we pay like around six thousand baht because we did um down syndrome thing it's better be sure that the baby has it's okay it's normal so we did that and they also had some blood tests on my partner so everything was um, fine guys and uh, the third checkup that's when the doctor tell us that everything is fine the baby is normal there's no Down syndrome detected the third checkup guys I really talked to the doctor that um, why cannot allowed my partner to come inside the you know well I supposed to have the ultrasound and she said that 
she don't allow the husband to come inside in her department something like that yeah she said like um it's kind of like saying like um she only takes like single woman then they should just ask me if i'm single i told her that i want my partner to experience and see what i see because it's his baby too we are in this together this is his baby and he has the right to see the baby and it's our journey together he's the father he's the father of this child and he's not allowed and that's make him so sad and i told her that i i'm I rather just gonna change hospital stuff like that and she said it's okay okay after that and she still asked me if i want ultrasound and stuff like that and i said no can can just my partner come in here just five seconds and just go out and she said she really said no she don't allow it it's only like woman to go in there so i like okay i will change hospital if it's that so we wait for one hour for the doctor so we wait and then yeah so my partner we see the baby and the ultrasound and he was so happy and almost like you know like you get emotional and during the time also guys she gave me some uh, calcium medicine she gave me this taking after your breakfast and then the next one was for anemia gold poop kind <laughs> of like that guys at the third checkup we only paid like 1500 a few days ago was our fourth checkup and we tell the doctor we don't want to know the gender because of um we're gonna throw a gender rebel party and then yes but we got some of the pictures guys from the ultrasound to see if the baby developing as it should be thankfully guys everything is normal guys all the organs and the heart and there are 10 toes and 10 fingers yeah i'm just gonna show you the picture that we had today <laughs> this is turning the baby so this is guys this is the 3d stuff so it was inside view so well there's a hand guys but you know <laughs> of course you're not gonna <laughs> see that <laughs> that's the hand but you cannot really see well but yeah this is uh him or her we still don't know yet guys but yeah we have to wait because we're gonna have a party next week we have in here more in here in the heart actually this is the heart guys like you can see that there are the flows and stuff and you can see the organs that is uh developing and you know functioning normal i have all the stuff in here guys they gave this to me but it's all written in thai like how can i read this oh my god i need to translate and stuff all written in Thai guys I forgot to talk about the symptoms that I had at the first trimester I actually don't have uh, symptoms all that symptoms right now guys everything is fine actually I don't get the headache anymore I don't get the heartburn besides I only pee a lot though I pee a lot but it's really better to don't have heartburn or headache in the first trimester which is really a hell because every day almost every day i get headache and i don't like the feeling <laughs> i told you that i had a lot of pimples i noticed around 19 weeks that they start to clear the pimples around my chest and my back for my diet guys i mostly eat asian food i don't eat a lot of fruits guys but most on vegetable uh protein and rice because the doctor said that i should not eat a lot of fruits serving because the fruits have also sugar and you know when you're pregnant you are prone to any type of sickness <laughs> is it sickness illness disease no <laughs> yeah everything you're prone for virus covid and stuff like that and prone for diabetes um high blood i like pork belly but i don't eat a lot of it you know you can eat also anything except raw don't ever ever eat raw food guys 
for your pregnancy because it's not so good for your health and for your baby so right now from the first checkup to four checkup i gained around six kilo guys so that's good because i only supposed to gain 12 kilos in the whole nine months of my pregnancy thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you enjoy my video this pregnancy journey i had is very important to me guys we have been waiting for this to happen because we already talked about getting ivf actually because we think that there's something wrong with me or with him i was like okay i was like i know it's just laughing right now but it was so sad to think about it before guys but that was that what we think that time because we've been trying for like a year and a half and then like why like there are people like i don't know I, what's wrong with me i like everything is normal and stuff like that but maybe i didn't know that i have some kind of sickness and i was telling him like that maybe we should considering to go to the hospital and you know talk about it and then we actually didn't want guys because we always postpone because we need to go like in the morning and stuff because we wake up so late and during the time we were we were so busy with work and stuff so we just like okay if it's gonna come it's gonna come when it's time it's time so kaboom <laughs> that's it guys it was so amazing guys well there are some people telling us not to you know are you really ready for kids you know you don't have time for yourself blah, blah blah or you know of course they have many different opinions guys but we choose this we want this and we want to have our little family to see the fruit of our love <laughs> so that's why so we are so happy guys and yeah that's it guys <laughs> that's it for all the story <laughs> that i had about this pregnancy and then yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video guys thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my video for more videos update and yeah see you on my next video bye